welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are recapping the semifinals of the 2024 CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. Reaction de las semifinales de la Copa Caribena de la CONCACAF. Two semifinals to talk about. How my predictions do. We'll quickly announce the third place game and the final. No predictions and we move. Semifinal one, Cavalier FC seven, Mocha FC zero, Cavalier FC siete, Mocha FC zero. Nil-nil draw in the Dominican Republic. Cavalier still wins seven nil at home. Now, that definitely was helped by the fact Mocha went down to nine men in the second half, but they were still down three nil by the half. So the game was over anyway, by far. And then it got even worse because they went down to nine men. And let me tell you, a 3-0 game could have been overcome in some way if they kept their heads about them. But they didn't. And it just got worse and worse. And Cavalier back in the final, I was right about this one. Didn't exactly expect the way it went down, but... Mocha FC got owned by Cavalier. I did not expect to see that happen. I did not think Cavalier was going to rip them to shreds. I thought Cavalier could win. I thought they would win. I predicted them to win, but not 7-0 on aggregate. No, more like 2-1. But Mocha, again, lost their heads late in the first half of the second leg. We're already down 3-0, and they've just signed their warrant from there. They got eliminated. I was right. 1-0 on my predictions. 1-for-1. One one. Not exactly the way I thought it would go down, but what matters is the correct prediction, not the way the play goes through. Semifinal 2, Cibao FC 4, Ral Hope FA 2. Cibao FC 4, Ral Hope FA 2. Ral Hope FA played well at home. That a two to three win. Or two to three loss, I should say. My bad. Two to three loss at home. They had two home goals, but there were three away goals for Sibau. Then Sibau won one nil at home. It was that simple. Sibau won both games, but Raul Hope played a tough tie. Let's just put it like that. They played a very tough tie. They played Sibal tough. Tougher than I expected them to be played as well. But Sibal still got it done because they're a very good football team. They're a very good side. They're the best side of the Dominican. And they're one of the better sides in the Caribbean. One of the best sides in the Caribbean. But Raul Hope FA fought. But... In the end, I was right about this one. It was 2-2 two and two on my predictions, 2-for-2 two two on my predictions, 2-0 and oh on my predictions. I got them both right. That simple. Third place game is Mocha FC versus Raul Hope FA. I think we know where this one leans. But the good news for Raul Hope FA is they did play Sabal well at home. If they could do that again... And they didn't lose badly in the Dominican to Cibao. They shouldn't lose worse to Mocha. We'll see how it goes, but I'm very interested to see this third place game play out. I'm very interested because it's it's an interesting ideal. You look at Mocha, you look at Cibao, they're two good teams. Or you, they're two good Dominican teams, but Cibao's definitely better. Then you look at Raul Hope, and they played Saval pretty tight. Anything can happen. It's a lot closer than you think. Final. The finals, Cavalier FC versus Saval FC. The final I think we all expected going into the tournament is happening. Cavalier going for a redemption year against a different team, but they're going for redemption to try to win the Caribbean Cup this year instead of fall one short. Sibal have made the knockout stage, won their semifinal, gotten to the final. A team that I thought were very likely to be in this position last year were not. But here we are. I think, didn't I have them getting to the final against Cavalier last year? I think it was something like that. Either way. 
here we are. It happened. I think I had them getting to the final this year, yes. If I remember correctly. But here it is. What we've been waiting to see. One of the best, if not the best, Jamaican team versus one of the best, if not the best, Dominican team. It's going to be a great final. Two heavyweights should be tight. I don't think Saval's going to go down as hard as Mocha did. I don't think they're going to go down two men. That's definitely a reason. But, again, you look at the match, and it's going to be tight. I can't wait to see it. With that being said, 2-0 on my predictions, 2-for-2 two two on the semifinal predictions. We'll see how the third place and final goes later this month, early December. And with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification you want to subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlists. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. With that being said, I will see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. Central for a live watch along and review of Chelsea FC versus FC Noah in the Conference League. Match three of the league phase. We go again. Chelsea playing again. We go again. I told you I'd do, everyone. We're still on track. There you go. Live review for that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, MLS playoffs are back. We finish round one. We'll also go live for and review Forge versus Calvary or Calvary versus Forge in the CPL final. Those streams will be up Thursday night. I will get the Chelsea stream up and have it ready to go tonight as this is going up. By the time you see this, it'll be sitting there. The MLS and CPL streams will be about ready to go tomorrow night. Set up to be ready to go tomorrow night. I think that's the way we're going to have it played. With that being said, though, MLS and CPL on the weekend. Chelsea tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. We're still busy, and I'm still raring to go, even though I was live for almost nine hours last night. No problem, though. But with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm riding them out. Peace. See ya. Back to football. I'm sure some people are happy about that. But there you go. Peace.